force sensing table technology is a set of tables that are able to measure quantitative data. It can measure force, speed, line of drive, the amount of tension that a student has, and actually show them in graphical form what they are doing. Anytime a student is adjusting or palpating and putting any sort of pressure on that table, it's gonna sense it. So whether they are just taking tension, they're actually thrusting, all of that gets recorded on screen. It gives them objective information versus just subjective. There's no guesswork anymore in terms of the manipulations and the thrusts with the real-time feedback from the force plate. For me at least, it helps me standardize my own adjustments. And so with that comes the confidence that for most patients, I'll be performing the same procedure. And then from there, I can take the adjustments and kind of modify the force depending on what patients I'm working with. It does help us learn how to evaluate and how to correct those things in the students. So, for example, if they are adjusting and they don't have enough speed, we can say, this is showing that we need to work on your speed and I can help them right then and there. I like the force plate a lot, honestly. It helps me fine tune my techniques. Being able to see the graph in front of me, so not just relying on the patient feedback, but I can also see what I did exactly. The line of drive is also there too, which is super cool because we get tired and we kind of lose that tension. So it really keeps us on track. In their CP4 classes, which is where they learn and adjust the very first time they're working on the lumbar and pelvis area, that is when they're allowed to come on a voluntary basis. But when it becomes mandatory is in their CP5, which is their thoracic and cervical adjusting. They have to come in as part of that class. And if we can correct things Early in the process of learning, you're going to become a better adjuster when you get to clinic and then off into your clinical practice.